Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the Leak Source Takedown. If you haven't heard of Leak Source, it's kind of a gray hat website that was known for monitoring the big password database breaches. Besides monitoring and listing all the latest breaches, they also had a huge archive of all the publicly known password databases out there. And for a fee, they also provided people access to these password databases, and they even spent time cracking them so you could have access to all the clear text passwords. In any case, they're one of the sites known for helping disclose to researchers some of the biggest password breaches this year. Uh, the LinkedIn, MySpace, and even Yahoo breaches, which happened a long time ago, really became uh, publicly known because of the big databases that LeakSource shared with the world. Anyways, this week, Leak source went down. Apparently, the FBI has taken down this website. Now, no one knows all the details, but one of the people behind Leak source seems to say that he's not arrested. However, the authorities have taken all his equipment that was associated with this particular website. It's still somewhat unknown why they took down this website, what kind of legal precedent they used. This site, though kind of a, a gray hat type site, wasn't directly doing anything illegal that I know of. All the password databases it shared were actually publicly leaked. You can find these database leaks on the internet and you can actually try to crack them yourself. Now it's obviously kind of shady to uh, have some sort of service fee to allow access to pre-cracked passwords. It's something that uh, Hackers could certainly take advantage of as well, although it seems in many of the cases journalists were the ones that were using leak source. So anyways, it's just interesting to see this well-known site being taken down, especially since it was at least partially responsible for us knowing about a lot of the password database breaches this year. It'd be interesting to see if it does come back up. Now, as an aside, do know there's another site out there that does a similar thing called Have I Been Pwned? However, that particular site does not give you access uh, to the password databases or crack the passwords. Rather, it just allows you to enter your email address to see if any of your passwords have been leaked online. Anyways, interesting story. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.